Welcome to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, please subscribe to our channel and leave a like. As for our returning viewers, welcome back. Ariana Grande Butera born June 26, 1993 is an American singer, songwriter, and actress. She is noted for her four octave vocal range and her signature use of the whistle register, which have received critical acclaim by critics and media. Her personal life and music have been the subject of widespread media attention. Grand has received numerous accolades throughout her career, including two Grammy Awards, one Brit Award, one Bambi Award, two Billboard Music Awards, three American Music Awards, nine MTV Video Music Awards, and 30 Guinness World Records. Grand began her music career at age 15 in 2008 Broadway musical 13. She rose to fame for playing Cat Valentine in the Nickelodeon television series Victorious in 2010-2013 and Sam and Cat in 2013-2014. Grand signed with Republic Records in 2011 after label executives viewed YouTube videos of her covering songs. Her 1950s doo-wop influenced pop and R&B debut album, Yours Truly released in 2013, topped the US Billboard 200, while it is the lead single, The Way reached the top 10 of the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. Grande's voice and whistle register on the album drew immediate comparisons to Mariah Carey. She continued to explore pop and R&B in her second and third studio albums, My Everything released in 2014 and Dangerous Woman released in 2016. My Everything experimented with EDM and achieved global success with its singles Problem, Break Free and Bang Bang, while Dangerous Woman became her first of four consecutive number one albums in the UK. Personal struggles influenced her trap-infused fourth and fifth studio albums, Sweetener released in 2018 and Thank You, Next released in 2019, both of which were critical and commercial successes. Sweetener won the Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal Album. And Thank You, Next broke the record for the largest streaming week for a pop album and was nominated for Album of the Year. The singles Thank You, Next, Seven Rings, and Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored made Grand the first solo artist to hold the top three spots on the Hot 100 simultaneously and the first woman to succeed herself at the top of the UK singles chart. Her 2020 collaborations Stuck With You with Justin Bieber and Rain On Me with Lady Gaga helped her break the record for most number one debuts on the Hot 100, the latter winning the Grammy Award for Best Pop Group Performance. Grand expanded on the trap genre with her sixth studio album, Positions released in 2020, which both the album and its title track debuted at number one in the UK and the US. Her collaborations with The Weeknd on the remixes of Save Your Tears and Die For You garnered her 6th and 7th US number 1 singles, respectively. Often regarded as a pop icon and triple threat entertainer, Grand is one of the world's best-selling music artists. She has sold over 90 million records globally and all of her studio albums have been certified platinum or higher. Among her Billboard chart records, she is the first artist to have five number one debuts, the first and only solo artist to chart three number one debuts in one calendar year, and the only artist to debut the lead singles from each of her studio albums in the top 10, and to have their first five number one singles debut at the top spot. Grand is the most streamed female artist of all time, the most streamed female artist on Spotify and Apple Music, the most followed female artist on Spotify, and the most subscribed female solo artist on YouTube. Nine of Grande's songs and seven of her music videos reached 1 billion streams and views on Spotify and Vivo, respectively. She is the female artist with the most 1 billion songs on the former platform. Grand has been included on Time's annual list of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2016 and 2019 and the Forbes Celebrity 100 in 2019 to 2020. Grand was named Woman of the Year in 2018, the greatest pop star of 2019, and the most successful female artist to debut in the 2010s by Billboard. Furthermore, Rolling Stone placed her in their list of 200 greatest singers of all time in 2023. Aside from her music career, she has worked with many charitable organizations and advocates for animal rights, mental health, and gender, racial, and LGBT equality. Grand has a large following on social media, 
She became the most followed woman on Instagram in 2019 and has over 350 million followers as of 2023. Grant has also ventured into the cosmetics and fashion industries. Her fragrance line, which was released in 2015, exceeded $1 billion in sales through 2022. Ariana Grande Butera was born on June 26, 1993, in Boca Raton, Florida. She is the daughter of Joan Grand, the Brooklyn-born CEO of Hose MC Can Communications, a manufacturer of communications and safety equipment owned by the Grand family since 1964, and Edward Butera, a graphic design firm owner in Boca Raton. Grand is of Italian descent and has described herself as an Italian-American with Sicilian and Albrecht as they roots. She has an older half-brother, Frankie Grand, who is an entertainer and producer. Her family moved from New York to Florida before her birth, and her parents separated when she was 8 or 9 years old. Ariana has a close relationship with her maternal grandmother, Marjorie Grand. When her parents were Florida Panthers season ticket holders, she was accidentally hit on each wrist by errant hockey pucks on two different occasions in 1998, sustaining minor bruises both times. The second occurrence happened during the Panthers' inaugural regular season game at National Car Rental Center on October 9, 1998, in which she was also the first child to ever ride a Zamboni in the brand new arena during the first intermission, the result of her parents' $200 winning bid at an auction. A photograph of her on the Zamboni was featured in the South Florida Sun Sentinel the next day. At age 8, she sang the Star Spangled Banner at the Panthers home game against the Chicago Black Hawks on January 16, 2002. As a young child, Grant performed with the Fort Lauderdale Children's Theater, playing her first role as the title character in the musical Annie. She also performed in their productions of The Wizard of Oz and Beauty and the Beast. At age 8, she performed at a karaoke lounge on a cruise ship and with various orchestras such as South Florida's Philharmonic. Florida Sunshine Pops, and symphonic orchestras. During this time, she attended the Pine Crest School and later North Broward Preparatory. Grande's music is generally pop and R&B with elements of EDM, hip-hop, and trap, the latter first appearing prominently on her Christmas and chill extended play. While consistently maintaining pop R&B tones, she has increased incorporation of trap into her music as her career has progressed thanks to her work with record producer Tommy Brown. She has collaborated with Brown on every album thus far and stated that one of the things I love most about working with Tommy is that none of the beats he plays me ever sound the same. Grand learned how to sound engineer and produce her own vocals because she loves being hands-on with every project, revealing that Mac Miller taught her how to use the Digital Audio Workstation Pro Tools. Collaborator Justin Tranter remarked that he felt inspired seeing how involved Grand is in creating her music from the writing to the vision to the storytelling and to even engineering and comping her own vocals. She has co-written songs addressing a wide variety of themes, such as love, sex, wealth, breakups, independence, empowerment, self-love and moving on from the past. Grande's debut album Yours Truly was complimented for recreating the R&B vibe and feel of the 90s with the help of songwriter and producer Babyface. Her follow-up record, My Everything, was described as an evolution to a new sound exploring EDM and electropop genres. Grande expanded the pop and R&B sound on her third album, Dangerous Woman, which was praised by the Los Angeles Times for integrating elements of different styles, including reggae pop side to side dance pop be alright, and guitar trap fusion sometimes. Trap pop is more heavily featured on her fourth and fifth studio albums, Sweetener and Thank You, next. On Sweetener, Elias Late of Rolling Stone opines that Grand set her sights on conquering trap, savage bass lines and jittery swarms of drum programming and embraces the sound of hard-bitten southern hip-hop, exploring funk music with themes of love and prosperity. Craig Jenkins of Vulture noted that Grand changed her musical style to trap and hip-hop with undertones of R&B on Thank You, Next, with lyrics about breakups, empowerment, and self-love. Her sixth album, Positions, further explores the R&B and trap-pop sound of Sweetener and Thank You, Next, with lyrics discussing sex and romance. Grand grew up listening mainly to urban pop and 1990s music. 
She credited Gloria Estefan with inspiring her to pursue a music career after Estefan saw and complimented Grande's performance on a cruise ship when she was eight years old. Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston are her biggest vocal influences, I love Mariah Carey. She is literally my favorite human being on the planet. And of course Whitney Houston as well. As far as vocal influences go, Whitney and Mariah pretty much cover it. Alongside Carrie and Houston, Grande's other key influences include Destiny's Child, Beyonce, Celine Dion, and Madonna. She reflects on her childhood by posting videos of herself singing songs from Dion's 1997 album Let's Talk About Love on her social media. Grand credits Madonna for paving the way for me and also every other female artist and admitted to being obsessed with her entire discography. Grand praised Imogen Heap's intricate song structure. She has named Judy Garland as a childhood influence, admiring her ability to tell a story when she sings, and says that Over the Rainbow was one of the first songs she remembers singing because Wizard of Oz was always my favorite movie when I was younger. Music producer and Grand collaborator Savin Katecha has stated in multiple interviews that him and Grand were influenced by Lauren Hill, when creating her fourth album Sweetener, as well as the song No Tears Left to Cry. Katecha told Variety we were listening to Lauren Hill about chord changes and why we stick to four chords all the time. Musically, Grand admires India Ari because her music makes me feel like everything is going to be okay and loves Brandy's songs because her riffs are incredibly on point. She has also expressed admiration for rappers who impact the music industry without a planned release date, telling Billboard, My dream has always been to be, obviously not a rapper, but, like, to put out music in the way that a rapper does. I feel like there are certain standards that pop women are held to that men aren't, it's just like, bruh. I just want to, drop music the way these boys do. It inspired her to release Thank You, next without any prior announcement, which The Ringer called more of a Drake move than an Ariana Grande move. Grand is a light lyric soprano, possessing a four octave vocal range and a whistle register. With the release of Yours Truly, critics compared Grand to Mariah Carey because of her wide vocal range, sound, and musical material. Julian Escobedo Shepard of Billboard wrote that both Carrie and Grant have the talent to let their vocals do the talking, that's not where the similarities end, Grant is subverting it with cute, comfortable, and untrend dresses with a feminine slant. Grant responded to the comparisons, it's a huge compliment, but when you hear my entire album, you'll see that Mariah's sound is much different than mine. Stephen J. Horowitz of Billboard wrote in 2014, with her sophomore album, The Problem Singer no longer resembles Carrie, and that's okay. Mark Savage of BBC News commented, Grand is one of pop's most intriguing and gifted singers. A magnetic performer with unrivaled vocal control. In the New York Times, John Perales wrote that Grande's voice can be silky, breathy or cutting, swooping through long melismas or jabbing out short R&B phrases. It's always supple and airborne, never forced. Composer and playwright Jason Robert Brown addressed Grant in a 2016 Time Magazine article, No matter how much you are underestimated, you are going to open your mouth and that unbelievable sound is going to come out. That extraordinary, versatile, limitless instrument that allows you to shut down every objection and every obstacle. Grant cited Audrey Hepburn as a major style influence in her early years of fame but began to find emulating Hepburn's style a little boring as her career progressed. She also drew inspiration from actresses of the 1950s and 1960s, such as Anne Margaret, Nancy Sinatra, and Marilyn Monroe. Grande's modest look early in her career was described as age-appropriate in comparison to contemporary artists who grew up in the public eye. Jim Farber of the New York Daily News wrote in 2014 that Grand received less attention for how little she wears or how graphically she moves than for how she sings. That year, she abandoned her earlier style and began wearing short skirts and crop tops with knee-high boots in live performances and red carpet events. She also began regularly wearing cat and bunny ears. In recent years, she began wearing oversized jackets and hoodies. Grande's style is often imitated by social media influencers and celebrities. After years of dyeing her hair red for the role of Kat Valentine, Grande wore extensions as her hair recovered from the damage. 
Ant Donahue of MTV News noted that her iconic high ponytail has received more attention than her fashion choices. Although Grant drew criticism for alleged impolite interactions with reporters and fans in 2014, she dismissed the reports as weird, inaccurate depictions. Rolling Stone wrote, Some may cry diva, but it's also Grant just taking a stand to not allow others to control her image. In July 2015, Grant sparked controversy after being seen on surveillance video in the donut shop licking donuts that were on display and saying I hate Americans. I hate America. This is disgusting, referring to a tray of donuts. She subsequently apologized, saying that she is extremely proud to be an American and that her comments rather refer to obesity in the United States. She later released a video apology for behaving poorly. The incident was parodied by the Muppets and featured in Miley Cyrus's Saturday Night Live cover of My Way, about the regrets of the summer of 2015. Grant herself poked fun at the incident while hosting Saturday Night Live in 2016, saying, A lot of kid stars end up doing drugs, or in jail, or pregnant, or get caught licking a donut they didn't pay for. In 2020, she said that she stopped doing interviews for a while out of fear that her words would be misconstrued and she would be labeled a diva. Grant has a large following on social media, and is one of the most influential celebrities on the internet. As of January 2023, her YouTube channel has over 50 million subscribers, making her among the most subscribed solo female artist. Her music videos have been viewed a total of over 23 billion times, with 7 of them reaching 1 billion views. Her Spotify profile has amassed over 85 million followers, making her the second most followed artist and most followed female. Her Instagram account has over 350 million followers, making her the top 5 among most followed individual and third most followed female. Her now deactivated Twitter account had over 80 million followers, making it the seventh most followed account. Her Facebook page has over 40 million followers, and her TikTok has 29.4 million followers. Grand became the most followed woman on Instagram in 2019. In May 2021, Visual Capitalist ranked Grand as the world's top female social media influencer. Often regarded as a pop icon and triple threat entertainer, several wax figures of Grant are found at Madame Tussauds wax museums in major cities around the world, including New York, Orlando, Amsterdam, Bangkok, Hollywood, and London. In 2016 and 2019, Grant was named one of Time's 100 most influential people in the world. In 2017, Celia Almeida of the Miami New Times wrote that of all the biggest pop stars of the past 20 years, Grand made the most convincing transition from engineer to an independent female artist. In 2018, music magazine hits labeled her pop diva supreme and reigning pop diva of the times, and Bloomberg named her the first pop diva of the streaming generation in 2020. Grand was also included in Pitchfork's list of the 200 most important artists of Pitchfork's first 25 years for emerging with music that pushed her artistry further as it asserted a magical trifecta of hope, joy, and a powerhouse voice. Her song Thank You, next was in Rolling Stone's 2021 revision of their 500 Greatest Songs of All Time. In 2023, the magazine included Grand among the 200 Greatest Singers of All Time. Many recording artists have cited Grand as an influence, including Madison Beer, Sufjan Stevens, Melanie Martinez, Megan Trainer, Troy Sivan, Jungkook from BTS, Maria Becerra, Billie Eilish, Yeri from Red Velvet, Sabrina Carpenter, Dana Paola, Zara Larson, Melody, Bryson Tiller, Lana Del Rey, Dove Cameron, Michelle's Honor from Japanese Breakfast, Grace Vanderwall, Brianna Ida, Maggie Lindemann, Charlie Puth, Giselle from Espa, and Blackpink. Grand has said she struggled with hypoglycemia, which she attributed to poor dietary habits. She has been a vegan since 2013. Fans questioned in 2019 whether she was still a vegan after working with Starbucks to create a special edition of one of her favorite drinks which was revealed to contain eggs. Her nutritionist, Harley Pasternak, told the magazine Glamour that Grand is vegan but that he has got her to feel okay about indulging and celebrating sometimes.
Grant developed post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD, and anxiety after the Manchester Arena bombing, she nearly pulled out of her performance in the 2018 broadcast A Very Wicked Halloween due to anxiety. Grant has also said she has been in therapy for over a decade, having first seen a mental health professional shortly after her parents' divorce. Grant was raised Roman Catholic, but left the church during the pontificate of Benedict XVI, opposing its stance on homosexuality and noting that her half-brother Frankie is gay. She has said that she and Frankie have followed the teachings of Kabbalah, a branch of Jewish mysticism, since she was 12. She said that they believe the basis lies in the idea that if you're kind to others, good things will happen to you. Several of her songs, such as Break Your Heart Right Back, are supportive of LGBT rights. She has also been labeled an advocate for a sex-positive attitude. In November 2019, Grand endorsed Senator Bernie Sanders' second presidential bid. Grand owned a $16 million penthouse in Lower Manhattan. She also purchased a mansion in Hollywood Hills for $13.7 million in June 2020. In September 2022, Grand put her Montecito, California house, which had a break-in three months before, up for sale. The mansion was reported to have sold for $9.1 million. Forbes began reporting on Grande's earnings in 2019. Grand met actor Graham Phillips in the cast of the Broadway musical 13 in 2008 and dated him until 2011. She dated English singer Nathan Sykes between August and December 2013, and then dated rapper Big Sean from October 2014 to April 2015. After recording The Way with Mac Miller in 2012, the two began dating in 2016. They collaborated on the single My Favorite Part, released in September 2016 on Miller's album The Divine Feminine released in 2016. Their relationship ended by May 2018. That September, Miller died from an accidental drug overdose, Grand expressed grief over his death on social media and called him her dearest friend. In May 2018, Grant began dating actor and comedian Pete Davidson, and they became engaged the next month. They called off their engagement and ended the relationship in October 2018. Grant began dating real estate agent Dalton Gomez in January 2020. Their relationship, while mostly private, was made public in the music video of her and Justin Bieber's charity single Stuck With You. Grand announced their engagement on December 20, 2020, after 11 months of dating. On May 15, 2021, they married in a private ceremony at her home in Montecito, California, where she wore a custom Vera Wang dress. Her wedding pictures became among the most liked Instagram posts, with over 25 million likes. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do so and also like the video and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.